Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to the Crafting Bookworm. So today I have a journal swap. Okay guys, welcome back. Welcome you subscribers. Thanks to all of you for your continued support. Whether you're here for books or crafts, I appreciate each and every one of you. So, Bobby had mentioned um, about doing a summer journal swap. And, of course, I'm always all in because I love doing swaps. It's nice to have a swap buddy because I was joking with Bobby and said I will never have to make another personal journal for myself because I have all these, these journals from our journal swaps. So, anyway, I was under the impression that we were going to have to do... A summer themed journal and you guys there's so much related to summer and that was just me um, just automatically assuming that we had to make a journal swap because we usually do themes so that was the first thing that popped into my head and um, didn't have to do that at all it Bobby said she didn't do a summer journal for me and I was like oh well you know what it's fine because hopefully she will enjoy this journal um, let me show that to you right now. Let me get it here. Okay, so this is what I created for Bobby. I'm going to do my best to stay in frame. Now, I'm pre-recording this. I have, you know, um, we send these out for the next month. We have the whole month. So we have to pre-record our videos. And you will see the journal I get from Bobby directly after this. So it's all going to be in the same video. So I'm going to try and go quickly. I know I say that every single time and it's never quickly. So anyway, I went with the whole summer theme and ran with it. When I think of summer, I think of vacations. I think of the ocean or lakes or wherever you guys like to go vacation. But I just did beachy journals for my sisters for our vacation in um, July. So I didn't want it to be specifically that. I went with more of a Victorian cottage kind of feel. Um, there are some lighthouses in here, and, but mostly cottages and a couple of, you know, like beachy scenes. Um, I didn't want it to follow suit with the ones that I created for my sisters. So let's just get started and not be rambling. So here on the front, we got this really pretty blue shell um, charm. I thought it was gorgeous and I couldn't really use it on a page because it's got this really wide circle. It's not like a hole through the, you know, through the top of it. It's got this little like ring thing on it. So I couldn't really hang that from my page, but I really wanted to use it because I focused on blues for this journal. So there's that. Um, we also created this beautiful tassel, which I really love how it turned out. I got some pearl strands in there and different blues and some cream color ribbons and stuff in it. Um, this can be taken off. Um, it just It's just a ring feeder through here, so you just she just would have to unthread it. Um, at the bottom, I added bead dangles here in beautiful blues and some silvers. Here, that, that turned out, those turned out really pretty as well. Top view, nice fluff that comes out the top. And then, of course, all the charms. There's flowers. There's a life preserver there. Um, just all, I'll, I'll show you all. There's a butterfly. All the dangles when we get to those pages. Okay, so for the top, I did something different. Um, this actually opens up. And inside, we've got pockets here with some ephemera. And then it opens again right here. Hopefully that's all in frame. We've got a beautiful old time lighthouse here on this side. The middle section she can write on. Okay, and then the back part opens up as well. There we go. I used Velcro so that it's not flapping around when she's using it open in the cover. We've got a really pretty um, kind of Victorian here of a girl sitting on a cliff by the water. I thought that was really pretty. And these papers I really enjoyed too because they were 
beautiful covers colors and then inside here is just my stamp and it's number 64 okay so let's get inside we got this pretty chiffon sheer chiffon um, ribbon for the ties I remember to put them in this time okay here we go so here we made a tag we did some collaging here it says here comes the Sun got a butterfly on there just a beautiful scenic tag that she can write on we put a really pretty floral sticker here here is a note to Bobby that I'll let her read um, it was just one of those cards I got in that pack from our uh, our thrifting craft store I thought that was really cute two little birds there there's one of the Victorian cottages Here is the Life Preserver Charm. As you guys know, I put tabs on the first and middle of each signature. This right here is a pull-down. And I added some really pretty um, eyelash trim that I got from Shay in a Happy Mail. And she can write on both sides of that. That's not going to work. There we go. That's just to hold this down. The kits I used in here, excuse me, the kits I used in here is from Giraffe Creative and Designs by Cassia. Um, there's actually two separate kits from Design by Cassia in here, and you'll probably see the differences. One of them is more the Victorian um, cottage theme, and then some are, the other ones are like the lighthouses and stuff like that. Some writing space there. We got a card here, and usually when I do my um, journal cards, if they're, they're not included in a kit, I just take the prints and downsize them, and they really make great um, journal cards, and I just inked this one. Um, let's see, what was the name of that ink? Unchartered Mariner is the uh, ink that I used, and then I also used some of it was... Um, chipped sapphire as well and then of course gathered twigs look at this one is beautiful um, we've also got some Edith Holden pages in here and it says August because we decided to use the month of August to create got a ruffle here from Tara this comes out so she can write some more on there I thought this dotted paper was cool because Bobby does a lot of um, other little journals that she does for her Book reviews and stuff so I thought that was really cool um, that was another kit I'll have to put that on the screen here because I don't remember what that um, shop was from Etsy here's one of the really pretty lighthouses it's a hidden pocket I really like that print and then here's this right here which was also downsized Um, this was out of How to Be a Wildflower by Katie Daisy, and it's making a strawberry pie. What else do you think of when you're on picnics and stuff in the summer? There's usually pie, so I thought that was really cool. And then the back side is the filling, the front side is the crust. Got some of my coffee dyed papers in there, this beautiful, my favorite crochet trim. I just love that. As you can see, it's cascaded down. Um, here is another beautiful shell. It's got a little pearl on it and a rhinestone. Gorgeous. Um, here is a corner tuck right here. And we got another really pretty image there. This corner tuck. Um, I put some more trim. This was from BB Crafts. And then this butterfly came from Shay in a Happy Mail. And that was the other part. They were stuck together. And I took the pearl off and used these rhinestones instead. And there's another one, music. Over here is an envelope that I made. And inside we made another card that she can use it for whatever she wants. Made it with some scrapbook paper. 
I thought it was really pretty, the blues. Let's see if I can get that back in the envelope. It's a little bit of a snug fit, I think. Um, here we did a belly band with another one of those butterflies from the Happy Mail from Shay. And then we did this, and I put a sticker on here, Memory. It says, Memory is a way of holding on to things you love, the things you are, and the things you never want to lose. And that's a really pretty, like, beachy scene there. And this image in the background was also from the Katie Daisy book. It says, Back Float in a Sun-Warmed Lake. I thought that was perfect. Um, here we made one of the accordion pockets, and I don't really think how some of those stick. And I just filled it with stickers and all kinds of stuff she can put in the journal. Got some pearls on there and some more of that trim. And then the side we made a quote card. You guys know I love to make those. That's just some more space that she can write. Look at that, how beautiful that is. And then over here is another one of the Edith Holden pages. There was no picture or anything on there. It's just plain writing, so I thought I would make this flip out. Um, I believe these envelopes and cards also came from Shay. The cards are just plain ivory. And we got some writing on these inside parts. An old boat. Look at the tugboat back there. How cute. And then the lighthouse says it's never too late to be what you might have been. And then I used this part as a tuck from the envelope and put a little card in there. Here's some really cute children playing in the sand. Um, these are some page dangles I started making. It says, make, you make me smile. And it's really pretty um, floral scrapbook paper. And these little rings, I first got them from Carrie. Um, she sent me, I think, five in a happy mail, and I used them all up. So then I'm like, well, I need some more. So I bought me a pack, and these ones are white. So these are fun to play with. Here's some more beautiful um, ruffle, fabric ruffle that I got from Tara, which I was going to hoard, and I said, mm, no, let's use it. We don't need to keep stuff hanging around. And it's got these really pretty rhinestones. I don't know if she put those rhinestones on individually herself or what, but that is gorgeous. And we got this really pretty lady. Into the second signature. Look at these kids. How cute are they? So cute. And another Victorian lady sitting here. Another cottage here. And over here is a flip out and put a pocket on this first page with a really pretty scene. Some old boats there, an old house here. And got some waves on that. And it flips out here and I got, in here is just some um, paper that she can write on. Just some stationery. And then another one of those cards there. Added a pop of this pinkish to pull in the colors of that. And then on the flip side, we got another lighthouse, and there's the scenery there. Little old Victorian town, I guess, with boats and stuff on the water. There's another Edith Holden. I didn't cover this because I know Bobby likes to read these. It says August. This is a really pretty um, piece of old um what do you call that paper i can't think right now came in that same kit of that that dot paper ledger i was thinking ledger paper obviously it's a digital print so it's not vintage and we made this we put Olo aloha beaches i know she has, spends time in hawaii so i thought that was cute Another lighthouse there, more writing. And there's that scene, that's the page that one I downsized and used. There's some more beautiful trim there, sunflower to match this page, sunflower um, scrapbook paper. Another journal card there. I always say I'm not gonna stuff the journals, I always end up stuffing the journals. 
there's a earth there and it, just the colors and stuff I liked. Some more coffee dyed. Did a stencil there. Here's our next tab with an old wheel from the old chips. Thought that was really pretty. Another lighthouse there. I already showed you all the beading. And right here I had this extra piece of scrapbook paper. I put this really pretty, um, this came off of some lace, some trim that my sister sent me. And I thought it was pretty, so I put it on the front and then it just opens up to write. It's just scrapbook paper that I had extra laying on my table. Another beautiful cottage. More stenciling there. Some more from Katie Daisy. Talks about national seashores and lake shores. And there's one in Indiana Dunes, and I asked my sister if she'd heard of it, and she has. And so I looked it up. It's a really nice park in Indiana. And then this was just the other side, and I decided to add it and pulled in the greens with the scrapbook paper uh, with some more quote cards in both pockets. Bobby can write on those. Another big picture of the old boat and the tugboat in the background. Another Edith Holden here and I added this little circle and a couple of these little tags. These were part of one of the kits. And then the back side I did the same thing and put in a double journal card there. Um, this is like a receipt or order form. Another lighthouse scene with a boat. Beautiful paper. And this one came from Brenda. Um, she sent me a happy mail and these die cuts were in there and I thought the color was perfect so I used it on this page. The, the flowers even match there. And there's that one that I are downsized and used for a journal card. Look at those children. How cute are they? Oh my goodness. This kit was so cute. And then we got an anchor on this one. And how awesome. I did not even plan that because I was just putting these on after I really didn't plan it. There's an anchor there and some writing. We made another double journal card with some scrap. I didn't feel like there was as many writing pages in this journal so I wanted to have her to have extra writing. Here's another flip out, another pocket on the front with a lighthouse. And then this flips out and we did a couple tags and these tags had like the big places to punch holes. I don't like how big they are so I just put a couple of flat back rhinestones on there. And then inside is just some more stationery for her to write on. And look at how sweet she is. And an old light house. And here's some space right there she can write. Here's another Edith Holden. Uh oh, and that sticker has got a sticky spot on it and it keeps sticking to the page. Yeah, look at the little berries. Put a little sticker up there. Another sweet little girl, lighthouse. Those sweet kids there, I just um, downsized the page and made a journal card out of it. And then here we did another um, page dangle. Got a little seagull on this side. Then the other side is a really pretty flower, which is from this page. It says fun times together, and it's like a compass. And then another journal card. Um, I had to throw something in there with horses, and luckily Katie Daisy had something with horses. So I thought that was really cool. And I kind of tried to match the, the colors with these colors. Here's a little waterfall that I made. It's tiny. I don't know how she'll use this, but, you know, she can write on the backs of these. And it says here, these days are days to remember. But I did a small one because I wanted these flowers to show. Got a sticker here, some more coffee dyed paper, another cottage there, and on this one we've got a really pretty flower. There's some more ruffle from Tara. 
beautiful. I think these were supposed to be tags, but I didn't bother with the tags and just made them journal cards. Because there was a set of four of them in the kit. I love this scene here too. Beautiful. And then this was just another piece of scrap paper and I lined the back. Because I have one of those um, line stencils. And just did a couple of the cutouts from my flower punch. And used that as a tuck spot. Here we did a, um, a hidden paper clip. And um, this is by Henry David Thoreau. This is from the Katie Daisy book. Let's see if I can get this back on the page without too much trouble. I love how that one turned out. Gorgeous colors. And then underneath that one is a couple more really cute kids. It says, gaze upon a cloud-filled sky and draw what you see. All this stuff just seemed really summery to me. Here's just a, a tag. This is the only one that I may actually made a tag out of those big long ones. And that's a hidden pocket there. lighthouse there some more writing these kids they used in in here just they're so cute so incredibly cute here's another Edith Holland page and I put another ruffle on there on the back side is the seagull and the compass and then we made this it says believe over here I did another one of the accordion pockets and put some more stickers and stuff in there and then here's another one of those and then we've got this um, paper here also from that same kit with the dots and the other papers beautiful here's a nice long pier over the water here's another one with an old boat thought that was cute and then underneath here is more writing space I did another one of these um, page dangles it says God is good and it's the ocean back there and then this is a little flower and then just some decorative paper scrap of paper on the back side they make great places to to slide your journal cards in and then the last one yes there was four signatures in this one um, this one is a lighthouse, if you guys can see that. I hope you can see that. It's so tiny. And this is probably one of my favorite sceneries with the sailboat and the calm sea. So pretty. We put another page ruffle here. And I attached a button to that just to give it a little more interest. Here it says, there is no key to happiness. The door is always open. And another journal card there. Um, this says, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11.1, 1. I always have to add something of faith in my journals. And it just flips open and she can write there. And there's some more of that paper from that Etsy shop. I just made this cute little flower, I don't know what it is, and I just glued it onto this Edith Holden page, and it says up here, you are gold, and I added some um, cheesecloth behind that. Another pop of the, the purples and stuff here, another pretty journal card, and then you know, you can't always have the perfect one on both sides of your page. But This says, today I've grown taller from walking with the trees. And it just kind of really went good, well with the compass. And then the back side, it says, hot springs to visit. So it really does have like a vacation vibe too. There's the music page. And this one's another beautiful shell charm with some pearls and the rhinestone. I love it. 
And over here we did another flip out, but we made another tag with another piece of um, page ruffle. I think this one came from Carrie, though. I think that was Carrie's, and I decided to use it as the topper on that. And this flips out, and then we've got another, uh, I'm guessing, stationery. I'm not pulling that one out. And then here we made this journal card, or this tag, and I put a little ring on there. I love doing that. I think it adds more interest. It says memories are forever. I love doing the flip outs. And on the back side, um, I just enlarged the page with the anchor for writing. She can write on the back as well. I didn't bother inking this one because, you know, you don't always have to ink everything, I guess. <laughs> And I made another page dangle. I think I made all these in the same... I don't know if, if I made these all in the same day or what. But it says, Believe in Yourself. There's a little tag behind it. And the sunflowers. And then we got this beautiful journal card here. And then this, is, this says, If there is magic on this planet, it is contained in the water by Lauren Isley. I think is how you say that. This is also from the Katie Daisy book. It says, take a canoe trip that creeps into the night, then set up camp on the shore. And then here's the journal card. And then on this side, I did one of the paper bag um, little projects and put a bunch of stickers and stuff in there as well. It says, dreams are flowers that bloom in your heart. And I thought this went really pretty with all the pinks in the page. Here's another Edith Holden page. We made another tag here. This was just a scrap that I had on my table. And I just made it a tag and added this really pretty sari silk. There's some more of that paper. This is a hidden one. And there's the journal card. Precious Little Girls again. And then on the back side, we got a large pocket here that is a hidden one. And we made this tag down here. It says, Days are fleeting, memories are forever. And we did another one of the little rings and this beautiful pink satin ribbon on the top. And she can journal on that. Some more writing space there. And a beautiful cottage there all the flowers and stuff and then we made her a writing board right here in blue these are used for writing um, behind a page that you have writing for so that you don't get all the bumps and you can write on a flat surface that is the purpose I, I say that in all of these but you know in case people are new they know what it is the back here says Handmade with Love by the Crafting Bookworm, number 64. I think that was on the front, too. I forgot that I'd put it on the front. And there is a journal card there. And then we'll put this back under our little clip. And there it is, you guys. That is my journal to Bobby, and I hope that she loves it. Um... I'm so thankful to have Bobby. We have been become really close friends, and these swaps are always such a blessing. Let me see. Did I stamp that on here somewhere? I want to look and see. Oh, I did. I stamped right here. And I had forgotten that I did that on this right here, and I stamped it in the back, too. Or maybe I stamped the back first. I don't know. But... There it is, you guys. Um, I had a lot of fun putting this together, even though I was a little stressed because I didn't know what I wanted to do, thinking that we had to do a summer theme. And we were just chatting, actually earlier today, and she said mine wasn't summer at all. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, but I came up with a plan with the cottages, so it all turned out. 
But there you go, guys. Don't go anywhere because after this, you will see what I received from Bobby. Thanks, guys. Welcome back. Um, I've gotten my box or my journal from Bobby for the journal swap. So it is now time to open it up. It's funny because I just sent her back one of her fairy loot boxes from her book hauls. Okay. Now, this is really pretty. This says, open me first. I'll help you see the theme. Open bubble mailer envelope first. She always does it so fun. Uh, if you guys don't know who Bobby is, she is Paginator Reads and Journals. And I will be linking to her channel. This, this is really cute. Um, I'll be linking to her channel below. <laughs> so, it looks like she has done a Cowboys themed journal. I think she's been wanting to do this because that is my team, the Dallas Cowboys. This is exciting. So this is a writing board. She's got the, I guess she's painted the back. I'm guessing it's painted. It says, we dem boys. Curious, Bobby, what do you think about the Cow Dallas Cowboys? <laughs> okay. So let's pull this out. And as I said in the beginning part of this video, I took it that we were doing summer themed journals. And so that's what I went with, as you guys saw in this first part. So I really hope that Bobby likes it. She did not do summer themed, she did a cowboy themed journal. This is a big journal. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This is beautiful. Look at this, this heart. It's got some rhinestones in there and then the Dallas Star. Wow. This fabric. The ribbon, look at this ribbon. We got some lace. Okay, I'm excited to see inside of this. Let's get this out of the way. Bobby is a supplier of bubble wrap for me. <laughs> she has got to know that. <laughs> it's very helpful. Okay. Now, I'll take a look at this on here, too. How pretty is this? It's some kind of a... I'm guessing some kind of a trim because it's on here too. Goodness, that's gorgeous. Okay. Oh, she did some kind of, um, I'm going to say like a, like a paste of some kind. That's really cool. Here we got play hard, win big. This is number 69 for her. I love her um, little library pockets. And then she's got her page one creations down here. A sticker. Oh, this is, I'm excited. Look at this card is muted. I wonder if it was like that. She always surprises me with stuff that I've not seen before. Love that. And it's just paper clips on. Oh, two paper clips. That's cool. Okay, let's see if I can paper clip that back on. There we go. Field goal, offense, defense, touchdown. And it's a flip out. This is just, this journal is so cool. And we got some fabrics here. Okay, I gotta say, Bobby, I could have done without this. 
That's Troy Aikman, not my favorite. But he was a huge part of the Dallas Cow Cowboy franchise in the 80s and 90s. I think up to the, oh wait, it says on here. 1989 to 2000. This is pretty. Go team. Oh, I like the dragonfly. And then we got Wynn right here. Love this paper. I don't know if, Bobby, did you dye the papers or something? Because that's really, really pretty. I'd love to have paper like this. I always say I'm going to go get some more dye, different dyes and stuff, and I never do. Oh, love the football on here. Hope you guys are getting a good look at all of this. Gorgeous. See, look at this beautiful trim, you guys. Oh my goodness, I love it. Rise up and conquer. They're still trying to rise up and conquer. <laughs> we are huge football fans in this in this family, so play hard. Oh, and that flips up and we got the field here. We've been watching their preseason games and not really thrilled with Trey Lance, who is the quarterback, or third string quarterback. This is pretty, too, the fabric with the butterfly. I like how she's incorporated the blues with this paper here. Here's Dorsett. He was a good one. All-Star Football Championship Athletic League. Maybe 20 years ago for me. Because <laughs> we used to even play football as a family a lot. I love this stuff. Ooh, this one's pretty too. That is beautiful trim. I hope everyone is having a beautiful day. That's pretty. I hope this is supposed to be in there. Nope, Michael Irvin. Number 88. There was a lot of good 88 players. Oh, I like this trim here, too. There's some more of that. It's like modeling paste or something. Winners never quit. Oh, this girl loves her cowboys. Yeah! Oh, and there's Prescott sticker. Who is our current quarterback? I love this too. She used the fabric and put that trim on there. That's awesome. Okay, okay. I'm going to try not to ooh and ah over everything. Ooh, I like the star too. Because the video will be super long. Woodson, number 29. 1992 to 2004. Well, he was on the team quite a while. That was before the Romo era. I love the, where she's put the trims and stuff in here. How about them cowboys? Yeah. It's pretty sad they can't make it through the first playoff game. Go team go. Another one of those footballs. Amazing. I mean this fits in really well right now because football season has started. So this came right at the right time Bobby. Thank you for this. This is just amazing. Oh, and here's a little. Oh, it comes out this way. Little Dallas Cowboy sticker. Don't mess with Texas. I do love my home. Even though we are scorched in the summer. Football team. Oh, there's more stickers under there. I'm not going to pull all this off. Let's see. Oh, that one's stuck on. Never mind. I thought it pulled out. Deion Sanders. Wasn't, I'm not really thrilled with Deion Sanders either. 1995, 1999. He was a cornerback. A ton of stickers right here and a card to write on. 
like the star. Receive, believe, achieve. Oh, conceive, believe, achieve. Well, this is pretty on the at the tuck. Love that. A couple more journal cards to write on. Oh, my daughter is going to love to see this journal. My whole family will love to see this journal because it's the Cowboys. Oh, this is cool. The Joker with the football. I really like that. This pocket's neat. This It's like a pocket tag. That's super cool. Two more of those paper clips. Little star there. Number one. Ooh, that one's pretty too. You always have the most gorgeous trims and laces and stuff, Bobby. Another journal card. Dak Prescott. This one's cool too. These these big playing cards are pretty awesome. I really like those. Oh, looks like a football. That pattern. That would have been cool if it was textured like that. Another really cool playing card. I love these cards, Bobby. Kick off. Another really pretty dragonfly. I learned all about the life on the football field. I learned all about life on the football field. Well, more like I learned all about football from my dad. <laughs> football, go fight, win. Nice. My husband's going to love this too. I'm going to show it to him when I'm done. Cliff Harris, I am not a, I don't know anything about him because he was 70 to 77. At that time, I was for the Cleveland Browns. I lived in Ohio. And I don't know who he is. My husband probably would. Another nice tuck spot there made out of the closure. Look at this. Love that. This was really a clever idea, Bobby, with football season starting. Love the colors. The blue is pretty. Another one of the flip-ups. Nice. Football down here. Larry Allen was 1994-2005. Again, before the Romo era, I think. If you believe it, you can achieve it wholeheartedly. Another one of those little footballs. Those are so cute. Nice belly band. Love it. Ooh, another one of the big cards. No limits, no excuses. Look at the football right here. And then she's made the writing space on the back. And these beautiful tuck spots. Oh, a whole bunch more stickers in here. I'm not going to pull all those out right now. <laughs> They're sinking down in the pocket. Nice. I like the papers and everything in this. Oh, I like this. Look at the blue. Can you guys see that? Daryl Johnson. Nope, I know who he is. 1989 to 1999. He was the moose. D with the state of Texas right there. That was cool. Another playing card. Another cool one of those pocket tags. Very nice. Oh, that's Bryant. He always did that. <laughs> what was a signal? Q. 
cute. Ooh, this is pretty. Get the footballs and it says win. We're not exactly sure what our season is going to be like this year. Renfro, 64 to 77. Love you to the end zone. <laughs> oh, that's not cool. That is super cool. Another journal card. Pretty trim. There's so much I can do. I can do with my um, jelly roll um, on these pages. How pretty that one is, all the stars. End zone. Another flip out with this pretty trim on there. Number one. Another Joker card. Another one of the <clears throat> tag pockets. Drew Pearson, um, this is who my husband has, um, an autographed, uh, it was a little tiny football helmet, and Drew Pearson is the one that autographed it. Not sure where we put that, <laughs> but somewhere in the house. More of that pretty trim there. Play hard, big win. Play hard, win big, I mean to say. Football, interception, field goal, victory, touchdown, tackle, halftime, and defense. We got some denim back there. Another pocket stuffed full of goodies. Stickers and journal cards. Oh, there's a DAC sticker. Football there. Another flip up. I love how that looks on there. Another belly band. Football team. Oops, don't fall out of there. And this is Bob Lilly. No idea on this one. 1961 to 1974. I haven't always been a cowboy fan. I've always been a football fan, but... My very first favorite was the Cleveland Browns. A couple more journal cards there, and this is really cool with the, the string in the background and the football. Oh, there's Roger Staubach. Everybody knows who he is. 69 to 79. He was a good quarterback. Page number 12. Leave it all on the field. I love these cards. And how the fabric is added. It, is, it looks like it's supposed to be on there. Love it. Block, tackle, pass, drive, and guard. And, oh, this is paper clipped on. Oh, nope, it's not. It's a flip down. Just push that up a little bit. Very nice. She's got three of them here that you can write on all three. Very nice. And the back cover, and we're going to get this writing board. And Poppy had texted me and told me it was very important that I... Um, that I open that bubble wrap first. Sorry guys, I'm for the reach. I'm trying to get a clip. Okay, because we're going to clip this on the back. 
pretty thick, so it might not work very well on there. But there we go, guys. How beautiful was this journal? I'm amazed, Bobby. This was just the perfect time for this one. The season starting. The colors, the papers, everything are amazing in this in this journal. But yeah, Bobby, thank you so much. This is such a wonderful, beautiful journal. And I am just amazed all the time by your talent. It's just gorgeous. It's such a well-made journal, too. Um, but yeah, I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for doing these swaps with me. It's just been a real treat in the time that we've been doing them. In the time that we've actually connected on YouTube, it's just been nothing but a treat. You're such an amazing person, and I'm so thankful and blessed that we did connect and you are my friend. Um, you guys, make sure you go over and visit Bobby at Paginator Reads and Journals and show her some love. Um, subscribe to her channel and um, thanks for joining me on this video if you like it please smash the like button thanks you guys for staying tuned and I'll see you in the next video bye